Okay, welcome back. Um, in this uh, video, we're actually going to start cleaning up um, our scanned uh, drawings. Now, if you want to follow this um, example, I have saved under video 1.5, and this will be in the, your Blackboard site, um, the rotated scan micro house sketch uh, section 1. That's what we're working on at the moment. Now, we're also going to be using this raw scan, flooded houses, typologies, but we'll come back to that in a moment. Now, if we look at our scan drawing, now because we've actually been fairly careful with the original drawing quality, you can see it's a pretty nice and clean scan. But if we zoom closely, you can see there's a little bit of greyness and imperfection. Now I'm going to zoom out, that's control zero, to zoom to the extents, control zero. And in a Mac, that's command plus and minus and command zero for the extents. Now we can adjust that kind of greyness by using what's called the dodge tool. Now the dodge tool looks like a little thumbtack, I guess. Now if we select that, and let's go up to the command line through here and make a few adjustments. Now, the actual brush size of the dodge tool is quite small at the moment. We can barely see it. The reason for this is because this scan was done at quite a high resolution. So I'm going to bump up the size of this until I can actually see the brush. So that's good. Click out through there. Now, we want to, to get rid of the grayness, we want to select the range in highlights. So we'll select highlights. And let's bump down the exposure quite considerably. Let's bring it right down to, say, 10%. This way, we're not sort of erasing the line. We're just sort of gently getting rid of the grayness. So let's zoom in on this area through here. Select the Dodge tool. And if we start to, to just sort of draw or, or kind of rub the Dodge tool over the top of it, you can see what it's doing is that it's just scraping away the greyness. Now be careful not to overdo this because you can eventually start to erase the line work itself. But it's good to actually take a little bit of that fuzziness away. Now I'm just going to zoom to the extents again, control zero. So dodge tool can help us sort of get rid of some of the grey. Now we can do global adjustments to the image through the uh, application, the pull down menu image, into adjustments and look at the brightness and contrast. And we can pull the sliders to see until we get an effect. Now because this image is actually quite crisp, we're not going to see too much difference. But it all makes a difference. If we see here, there's a bit of greyness appearing through there. Again, apply the dodge tool. And we can eliminate that greyness slowly but surely in a very subtle sort of way. OK, control zero to bring us back to the extents. Now, as I said, because we were fairly careful with the drawing, the line weight is nice and sharp, it was drawn with pen, um, the amount of cleaning up is, is fairly minor. Now, often we'll be sort of working with drawings perhaps that aren't quite as clean as this one here. Maybe we've done them on butter paper or tracing paper that's not quite as transparent as, as this one here. So let's open up an example. Let's go to this raw scan, flooded houses. You can see is that it opens up a new tab in the uh, tab bar across here. So we can flick between those images quite easily. Now, this is a, a raw scan as we can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a similar thing that we did last time. I'm just going to go to image rotation. I'm going to rotate this clockwise. I'm going to get the ruler tool. Draw a line through there, straighten that up, get my cropping tool, pull it across, 
Let's drag this a little bit more that way, a little bit more that way. Enter to accept that. Now, although this image is perhaps not that shabby, it's not as nice and crisp as the others. So if we zoom in on parts of it, we can see there's a fair amount of greyness in the line through there. There's a few smudges and imperfections as well. So I'm going to get the dodge tool in this first instance and I'm just going to sort of get rid of some of these. It's not doing such a great job. I might just use the eraser tool that's over here to get rid of some of those. Now just to note with the eraser tool I'm using it as a block but you can use it as a brush and if you use it as a brush again you can adjust the opacity of it so you're not taking quite as much in one hit. Now I'm going to do something perhaps slightly counterintuitive. I'm going to go up to the adjustments through here go to the brightness and contrast and because I want to sort of burn the lines in a bit I'm going to pull back the, the brightness a little bit and pull up the contrast so that will it will still leave quite a lot of greyness behind but it's going to burn in those lines I'm going to accept that now I'm going to go back to the dodge tool I'm going to give us quite a large brush now because I want to do big action and I'm going to start just scraping that greyness away not overdoing it just until we can see the broad amounts of that greyness disappearing now what you can see because of the darkening the lines by sort of pulling back the brightness and then pushing the contrast forward I'm able to sort of scrape away a lot of the greyness but retain the actual line work underneath it. Again, I'm not going to overdo it because if I do this the dodge tool too too much, I will actually start to erase some of the line work. But there you go, you can see just through a reasonably quick application of the dodge tool, I've managed to sort of clean up this image so the background is nice and white and the line work is nice and crisp. Now I can go in clean up the image a little bit more and perhaps even go back into the adjustments and again just pull back that brightness a bit, burn in the lines pull that contrast and then find those parts where the greyness is still evident and just clean those bits up. Now hasn't done such a bad job and it's surprising by just following the method how much you can clean up some fairly marginal sketchy drawing so if you're doing diagrams and so on um, you know perhaps they're not perfectly rule drawings but just through some subtle manipulation you can actually clean them up rather well now I recommend um, before uh, bringing these sorts of drawings into um, a final presentation to print them out because sometimes some of the grayness in the background isn't evident on the screen but is very evident when you print it out so typically what I would do is I would print this out have a look at it and compare the image on the screen with the printout and see if I need to make any sort of last minute adjustments so there you go that's um, showing you how to sort of clean up some fairly marginal um, sketchy drawings uh, using the dodge tool and using the brightness and contrast settings Hope you found that useful. Stick around. We're going to be doing a little bit more scanning in the next video, but we're going to see how we can composite uh, drawings together, perhaps if we need to scan uh, drawings larger than our sort of scannable area. So stick around.